Lawyers for the city of Chicago now say the officers who conducted a traffic stop that ended in the deadly shooting of Dexter Reed earlier this year pulled him over because of his tinted windows. That claim contradicts an earlier statement that they stopped Reed for a seatbelt violation. Those same lawyers were in federal court today. Our Sabrina Franza was there too. Sabrina. Erica, the judge presiding in this case in federal court urged both parties to try to come to some sort of settlement, citing a long, arduous process should this go to trial. Now, we spoke to Reed's attorney after the hearing ended. The family of Dexter Reed is devastated. Their son was shot and killed as a result of an unjustified traffic stop. 26-year-old Dexter Reed was shot and killed by police on March 21st in Humboldt Park. Five tactical officers pulled him over. The stop recorded on body camera video. Roll the windows down. Investigators say Reed fired first. One officer was injured in the shootout. Don't roll the window up. Don't roll the window up. In a federal lawsuit filed by the family against the city, they claim police had no valid reason to pull Reed over. That the officers, quote, unloaded a barrage of bullets onto him, killing him. Reed's family maintains he got out of the car, quote, unarmed with his hands empty and raised in sign of surrender. Previously, COPA chief administrator Andrea Kirsten said officers stopped Reed for, quote, not wearing a seatbelt. We are looking at all of this information. But in a letter she sent to Chicago Police Superintendent Larry Snelling, she wrote, quote, available evidence calls into question the veracity of this account. What we hope is that we are going to get through the discovery process and we'll be able to ask these questions. Why did the officers at the scene initially say they stopped Dexter for a seatbelt violation? That fact is documented. Why are the lawyers now saying, oh, it wasn't for a seatbelt, it was for tinted windows? In a federal courtroom today, a judge mentioned this contradictory motion filed by the city, saying the officers actually, quote, lawfully stopped Dexter Reed for driving a vehicle with dark tinted windows. All of these cases cost millions of dollars to defend and taxpayer money is being wasted versus, number one, addressing the core problem in our communities as it relates to police and following the consent decree and resolving these cases in an efficient manner that doesn't cost taxpayers millions of dollars. The judge in this case has yet to make a decision on whether or not to allow this new story into the courtroom. We've reached out to Chicago Police Department as well as to the city and have heard back from neither of them. We'll keep you posted. But now we're live outside Dirksen Federal Courthouse. Sabrina Franza, CBS News, Chicago. Thanks, Sabrina.